Every time mankind has been able to access a new source of energy, it has led to profound societal implications. Older folks like me will recall a day when earphones didn't look like that. The whole trick has been the invention of a little magnet based on neodymium, neodymium iron boron magnets. Extremely powerful magnets and they use a rare earth mineral called neodymium. And because neodymium iron boron magnets are so powerful, one of the places they find application is in the generators that sit on top of windmills. Global demand for wind has really increased desire to find neodymium. Currently it's all being mined in China. Now why am I talking about neodymium? Well, because thorium is always found with heavy rare earth elements. If you remember your periodic table, the lanthanides, that column above the actinides, those are all the rare earths. Thorium policy in all Western nations undermines the successful development of a domestic rare earth market. All of the rare earths that most Western mining companies are willing to process are what they call bastnocytes or carbonatites. They typically select these rare earths not because of the high ratios of rare earths, but simply the absence of thorium. So consequently, the only operating rare earth mine that just opened up this year, according to their own uh, filings in the USGS, produces essentially the, the lighter half of the lanthanide scale and in fact does have some monazites, which are a thorium rare earth and rich mineralization, which they dispose of. So what happens all across America, Canada and South America, there are beautiful monazite deposits that have heavy rare earths that could be very commercial except for the thorium content. Mountain Pass was originally closed uh, according to CEO Mark Smith because of the EPA in the state of California and some thorium that came out of a ruptured tailings pipe. So the thorium represents this unknown, unlimited liability to to rare earth production and so it plays into the hands of China. First, China provided rare earth elements very cheaply to everybody in the world by their cheap labor, lack of enforceable environmental regulation, and their appreciated currency. Essentially consolidate, control the rare earth market. And then they said, well, you know, now all of you are coming to our door to buy our rare earths. We don't want to sell the raw material anymore. Our manufacturers can buy it cheaper. They imposed a huge export tax on rare earth elements and so one had a choice to accept a huge tax and increase in the price of the product or to relocate factory into mainland China and buy rare earth elements on a local market without tax. It's a strategy it, it, and it's working pretty well. Manufacturers which use rare earth elements in their products located their manufacturing base inside China. The jobs in manufacturing transferred from the United States and Western Europe into the Chinese mainland. They've moved all the way up the value chain and are actually able to leverage their position into capturing other countries' IP. If Toyota really wants to build a, a million battery packs, in the end, uh, if they don't find a solution to the heavy rare earth problem, they'll be building them inside China. So what we need to be able to do is let another entity take that thorium to develop uses and markets including energy. So let's say for example you had a single rare earth refinery creating about 20,000 tons of heavy rare earths a year. On current consumption that's about 130 percent of domestic consumption for rare earths. It automatically undermines China's advantage. Now there's two places on the planet earth where you have a guaranteed supply of heavy rare earths. What can your country leverage that into? This is the fulcrum you need to get back into the, the world economy as a manufacturer. Someday looking at our descendants and to have them say, why did you give us this world that we have now? Why did you give us this world of energy poverty, of pollution, of war, of disease, when you knew there was a better way and you could have made it happen? You say, why didn't you do this? You knew about it and you could have made it happen, but you didn't. What's your excuse?